Finding silver dimes in circulation has been very tough for me this year, so much so that I've only hunted 18 dime boxes year to date. Now, I haven't kept track of how many silver dimes I've actually pulled from circulation. Of course, a silver jar knows, but we're hoping that today's four box dime time hunt can get us on the silver since I've been on the silver with my half dollars. Hey everyone, it's Rob Fiennes Treasure and welcome back to the channel. Like I said in the intro, we've got a four box dime time hunt today in our quest to add more silver to our stack from circulation. Now I've got a couple of hold bank boxes here. This will be box 19 and 20 on the year. And I've got a couple of these other tall boxes. I've opened up both of them, of course, one is bank wrap dimes. And then over the course of the last month, Shalani has been asking the bank tellers if they have any hand wrap dimes. And this is the accumulation of them. We just recently were able to add a few more to get to 50 now to fill up a box. So three bank boxes, one customer wrapped or hand wrapped box. And yeah, we're looking for silver. You guys know what we need to do. It's been tough. I'm gonna ask the silver genie only if I need his help after the three bank boxes. Hopefully we find silver in those, but if not, Hopefully, we can get some silver in the hand-wrapped ones. All right, let me go ahead and crack open this first box in front of you guys, see if we have any magical silver dime enders. I think in the history of all my dime boxes, I may have only had a handful, maybe one or two silver dime enders. Man, let me get this cracked open and I'll be right back. All right, I had to use my screwdriver to open up the box. Holy cow, look at the glue on this thing. They're going crazy with that. I do not see any obvious silver dime enders, but definitely a heavily circulated dime box. We're looking for silver. We're looking for any proof or varieties. And obviously if I have any 2024 dimes, I'll let you guys know that as well. As always, I'll begin the hunt and hopefully I'm back before the end of the box. Well, unfortunately box one was a complete dud like my dime boxes have been this year, although it's only one of four. We didn't even find any uglies for the world's worst dime album. Of course, I'm only missing a handful, as you can see here. So hopefully we get something in one of these four boxes. Let's move on to box number two and see if I can even open it or if it's a glue fest yet again on a dime box. All right, looks like this one's actually manageable. Almost. All right, here we go. Man, it would be nice to just crack open one of these and see a couple of Merc Dime Enders, but I guess we can only wish for now. All right, here we go again. Hopefully I'm back with a find. Otherwise, I'll be back with an empty box. Well, I am back with box number two as another skunker as far as silver. We did have a couple of finds. I didn't film them during the hunt because they came early in the box and I thought for sure we'd find something else. I did get a lower mintage 2009 Philly dime, no Denver this time, or at least not yet. And then a pretty nice overall 1970D proof reverse dime. That is a variety you want to look for. And uh, yeah, it's got a little bit more detail on the flame. But overall, even though it's a nicer than I usually find 1970D proof reverse dime, it's probably only in that uh, maybe AU50 XF45 range. Not a grader, just something to show off. Got that in like roll eight and that in roll two. So Thought I'd get a silver and there are a foreign or something and I would have filmed those along with it. We didn't have such luck. Two boxes down, two skunkers, one more bank box to go before we go on to the customer wraps. Hopefully, because it's in a different type of box, we have different kind of luck. If not, we might have to summon the silver genie. We'll have to see. All right, I'll be back with a find or another empty box. Roll number 33 of box number three. So threes are wild. We have our third significant find and our first one that's a proof. This is going to be a 1989 San Francisco minted proof dime. And as you guys know, you definitely want to uh, pull these out when you find them. They're worth more than face value, probably a buck or two in this condition. But either way, it's a lower mintage. It's a funner find. It's clad, unfortunately, not silver. But again, we'll take what we can get when we're struggling. All right. 17 rolls of the last bank box of the hunt. Can that mean some luck for us? Roll number 44 of the same box is going to give us another find. This time, it's a 1981 S proof, which I'll take. Nice seeing proof times. I'm not going to get mad at that, but it sure would be nice to find some silver and maybe a foreign, although I'm expecting at least some foreigns in my hand-wrapped rolls 
Maybe we'll get some silver, but looks like we're going to get silver skunked unless something happens in the last six rolls of box number three. Well, unfortunately, that's going to do it for box number three, the final bank box of this hunt. And still, oops, sorry, Jenny, still no silver, although it was a better box yet again. And uh, yeah, pretty tough hunt so far. Nothing off the world's worst dime album list. No 09 Denver. No other major varieties besides the 70D Proof Reverse. Couple of proof dimes, which is nice. I think we're going to have to ask the genie for help. Yeah, we're going to have to ask the genie for help. All right, didn't want to have to do this, but it looks like we're going to have to do this. I'll be back in a second. Hopefully the genie will answer, and we'll see if he can help us with the customer wrapped dimes box that we have left all right come on genie help us out please please help us out with these dimes i am the genie of the lamp i am the almighty and powerful hey rob finds treasure how you doing i'm okay genie good what can i do for you well i'm struggling with silver dimes yet again dimes again yeah i need your help with dimes rob I can always help you with dimes. That's not a problem. How many boxes do you have left? Just one box, but it is customer wrapped. One? I'll do my best. Get to hunting, good luck, and let's see if we can find some silver. All right, thank you so much, Genie. I hope he can do his best and we can find some silver. 50 hand wrapped rolls, wish me luck. Let's do this. So I just finished with roll number eight of the hunt and it felt like it might have been an original bank roll. Take a look at that. I don't know if these have been searched and rewrapped in a weird way, but this one was tight to get all of them out. Obviously it was tight because it has a stinking penny in there. So that's kind of a bummer, but I haven't gone through it yet. And I was just curious if we'd see any more modern ones. I haven't seen anything past 2000. Uh, there's a 2016, I'll say 2012 from the end coin. But uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with this roll. Looks like it might be hunted, but I don't see anything too modern. 2019, there you go. All right, we got some more modern stuff in here. Never mind. I think somebody just rewrapped these into these rolls like that. Thought we were going to get excited for a second, and uh, we got one ugly here, but uh, 2014 P. All right, we got a penny. Probably lost nine cents. I'll count these and see if it was a bonus or if we're actually down. Either way, let's get back to the hunt. We're not off to a good start, Genie. We've already lost a penny. Roll number 36, running out of time, running out of rolls, running out of dimes, apparently. Looks like we have a copper set, 1981 Denver, second penny of the hunt. Still no silver goodies. Just grab the next roll out of the box, and it's almost impossible to get this roll out of here. Something is preventing it. Probably another penny. Let me open it up, and I'll bring you guys back. It's another penny. You'd think they'd leave me a silver coin for my troubles, but it doesn't appear to be. All right, we're now down, what is that, 27 cents with 13 rolls to go? Huh. Roll number 40, and we are striking out. Apparently, though, pennies are the new dime. Couldn't get this out because there's a penny inside, so I had to empty both sides out first. Unbelievable. Penny number four. Well, it appears as though the genie's going to come through, and it couldn't have come any later. The very first roll of these type, and there's, what, six of them, five left in there? And I had a dark edge. Figured it was another corroded coin because I've been getting corroded ones, but figured I'd take a quick peek because it was dark black, and I already could see the date. It's going to be a 1952 right there. Look at that. 1952 Denver. And uh customer who might have known if it was silver, Probably didn't see it by the edge or didn't hear it because it is darkened. But that is most certainly silver, and I will take it. Holy cow. Maybe, just maybe, we'll have a few more in the rest of the rolls. We'll have to see. Let's get back after it. We're on the board finally. Six rolls or five rolls, I guess, before the end of the box. Unfortunately, the rest of those custom wrap rolls did not have anything fun in them. And I find it interesting that... A, people were stuffing pennies into their rolls. It might have been the same customer. Who knows? And no foreign coins. Typically, when I get a box or a whole bunch of hand-wrapped rolls, I do get foreign coins, and we had none. So 
In recap for the hunt today, we got four pennies, lost 36 cents there. We got an 09 Philly. We got a 1970D proof reverse. Two proofs in total, an 89 and an 81S. That is a type one. I put it in the top of the description when I edited the video, but that is a 1981S type one, the more common one. And the lone silver probably would have been missed had I not been paying attention if I was just edge hunting and thought it was just another corroded one. But yeah, 1952 Denver, we'll take it. The only silver of the box, and I know the genie said he'd help us out or try to, he did. But very little. But I'm not complaining, Jeannie. I appreciate it. Hopefully, despite the lack of fines, you guys still found this hunt fun. If you did, I certainly would appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching. The silver jar has been spoiled with silver half dollars lately, so he's not going to complain about a loan. Silver dime.